is April Massad with five posing tips for every session. So, you know, sometimes we get a kid in our studio and our brain freezes up, right? So these are five poses that you should be doing for every session. I even have a bonus at the end. It's a good one. Get your brain, your gears moving, hopefully. But these five poses, you can branch off of these. So think of this and hopefully the one pose is going to get you thinking about other poses. Okay, kind of like flow posing. And I hope that this helps you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm gonna say it again. I hope it helps you out. Let's go. Okay guys, as soon as a girl comes in, I don't photograph a lot of boys, so anytime a girl comes in, she's usually going to wear a dress or a skirt. So as soon as she comes in here, the very first pose that I have her do is what I call the side to side. So the side to side would be, she takes her skirt and I'm going to show her. So I'd never say, okay, take your skirt and do blah, blah, blah. No, you have to show them. So what I do is I say, okay, watch me. Here's what you're going to do. So it always starts with the feet. So I tell them, put knee over knee, over knee, over knee. I don't care if they're three, 12, 16, 18, whatever, they're going to be able to do what you're showing them to do. So knee to knee, and I told them to lightly grab your dress. If they have a huge couture gown on, I have them reach down, pick up the lighter outside uh, pieces of the dress, and they go side to side and they just take it side to side, side to side, side to side. So you can start there and they will, you know, kind of get into it if they're shy, it'll take them a minute. But the great thing about this is that it breaks the ice. And you have to remember they always have music playing during the session. So they're hearing their favorite Frozen music, whatever, uh, Moana music, and they're into it, okay? So as they get into it, and I'm snap, 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 and I'm showing you the images over here, so as we're going side to side, side to side, I'll have them go side to side, and then I'll have them, okay, I'll tell them, go to the side and then look at me over your shoulder. And I will show them that. If I'm back here taking pictures, I'll say, okay, now do side to side and look at me over your shoulder. I'm not just saying it to them, I'm showing it to them. So as they're side to side, they're looking over their shoulder, they're taking it, and I'm continuously shooting, 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 shooting. And then I might say, okay, spin around, and they'll spin around, and then you're shooting, shooting, shooting. It's not, it's sort of spray and pray. And I know that some photographers tell you, hey, you know, don't shoot that many shots, whatever. That if you're shooting kids, you have to have like 100 shots to every 20. So yeah. Okay, so the other thing that I'll have them do while they're doing side to side is I'll, while they're doing side to side, I'll say, okay, look out the window. And I'll say, look out the window and smile. The window's hilarious. And they'll look out the uh, window and smile. And then I'll have them uh, look down at your beautiful dress, go side to side. Okay, so as they're going side to side, I'll say, oh my gosh, look over at mom and smile. And usually they'll look over at mom and smile. And I'll say, look over at mom and laugh. And they'll look over at mom and laugh. And the first one is sometimes good, but then when they have laughed once, the second laugh is usually the one that's the better one. So that's the first pose. So first pose, as soon as they come in out the door, side to side, spinning around, it's awesome. It breaks the ice, it gets them moving, it gets them you know, enjoying themselves and getting kind of crazy. That's why I always make sure that their hair is usually lightly curled or tight curled if mom says that it won't it'll fall out, I'll usually have them curl it tightly because by the time they do side to side, curls are relaxed. The next pose that is one of five that I'm talking about today is what I call the sassy shoulder. <laughs> okay, so the kids, that I have worked with repeatedly, whether it, I mean, actually, no, let me, let me rephrase. By the end of the session, the kids have it down. Like if I even go like that, they do it. I don't even have to say sassy shoulder. Sometimes I'll just say, give me sassy shoulder. And they'll, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
like that. That's sassy shoulder. Okay, so sassy shoulder works if they're doing the side to side, if they're sitting, if they're on the ground, if they're just standing here like this, and I'll say do sassy shoulder. Or I'll say funny shoulder. <laughs> I'll say laugh at your funny shoulder, and they'll be like, <laughs> and then usually after they laugh at their funny shoulder, they're looking at me and still laughing, and you gotta grab that shot too, because that's a really good one. But sassy shoulder is great. It can go both ways. You can say, give me sassy shoulder and look out the window. Or if you're not shooting with the window, you can say, Give me a sassy shoulder and look at the light. So like if you have a softbox or a PLM, you can have them laugh at the light, look at the light. You can have them look down at your shoulder, look down at your shoulder. Even if they're sitting, like kneeling, they can do sassy shoulder. It's great. That is one of my favorite ones. The girls, like usually I'll say, um, okay, Kindle you know, and I'll show them and they know exactly what I mean. They know exactly what I want and they do it. And, it can be three sessions later, I've photographed them for three sessions and they'll come back and usually I don't even have to say sassy shoulder if I just go like that, they do it and it's like magic. So that's number two. Okay, pose three. First one was side to side. Second one was sassy shoulder. Third is going to be headshot. So with every single session, doesn't matter if it's a boy, a girl, a baby, whatever, senior, you always, I always make sure that I get that one solid headshot. What I mean by a headshot is the client looking right into the camera, up close, usually head and shoulders, sometimes three quarter length, but I love getting the fan involved. I like blowing the hair because in the studio, the only movement you're really going to have is really your dress. And so when your hair is moved, when their hair is moving, it creates movement in the shot, creates interest. It's just beautiful. I just love it. Um, so I usually will have them stand and usually I will tell them to pick fingernails, which is kind of funny because if they have an OCD mother, the first thing they will do is they will look at me and then they will look at mom like, she just told me to pick my fingernails. You just yelled at me the whole time you painted my freaking fingernails tonight. Oh my gosh, she's telling me to pick them. And I'll say, it's okay, don't really pick them. Like, just pretend to pick them. And so they're like, okay. And so then they're pick fingernails or I'll say pick one finger. So they'll do like one finger and I'll say, look at me right into the camera. And so when they look at me right into the camera is when I take that shot. So you might say, how the heck do you have a three-year-old look you right into the camera lens like this? Okay, usually if I have worked with them repeatedly, there's some kids I've worked with for years and years and years. And if they, and if I say, you know, Sydney, stare in the lens, give me this, give me the Sydney look. And she knows exactly what I'm talking about at six. One, two, three, okay. You don't even know what just happened. <laughs> but, you know, a new kid, they might not know. So I'll do like a little game where I say, okay, I want you to look, look right into this camera, look right into the lens, like right here in this hole. And they'll usually look right in there and give me like a pretty intense stare. And then I'll say, okay, do the Sydney laugh. And that if I usually use their name and then I say, do the Sydney laugh or the Kindle laugh, then they laugh, you know, like more of a natural laugh. If they have trouble looking directly into the lens, I'll say, oh my gosh, do you know what? And they'll say, what? And I'll say, oh my gosh. So if you look right into my lens and you're doing a really good job, it'll wink at you. And they're like, what? And I'm like, no, it winks at you. It winks right at you. Watch, look, I'm gonna show you. And so they're like staring into that lens, like waiting on it to blink or wink. And so that's when I get the shot. And then I pull it down. And I say, Oh my gosh, did it wink at you? And they're like, yeah, it winked like three times. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know what? That means you're doing an awesome job. Oh my gosh. And then I'll just have them do it again and again until I feel like I've really gotten that shot. So that's kind of a fun trick that will usually work until they're about 10. And then they don't think it's they'll, they'll kind of think it's funny and they'll humor me, but you can really tell 10 and up to just look into the lens and they give you that awesome shot. We have done side to side, funny shoulder, 
headshot. And now we're going to do crown. Listen, go on Amazon, buy you a $12 crown. It'll be the best thing you ever did. Best 12 bucks you ever spent. You can go up to 20 if you wanna get fancy. You can go down to eight if you want one that's not so fancy, whatever. 12 bucks, you're gonna make way more than 12 bucks with this thing, okay? I'm telling you, as soon as that little girl comes into your studio and sees crowns on a table, it's like something comes over them and they are like, oh my gosh, I have to wear this crown. So anything that they want to do, use it to your advantage. So I'll say, oh my gosh, okay, you can wear the crown, but you have to do really good for these first you know, few poses. And then if you do a really good job, I'll let you wear any crown you want. Now I'll say any crown you want, but that's not true. If the dress, would look better with a silver crown, then I'll kind of push them towards the silver crowns. If the dress would look better with gold, I'll do it with gold, okay? So I kind of lead them into what I kind of want them to wear. So what I will usually tell the girls is when they put it on, I will say, we are not princesses here. What is Elsa? And they will say, Elsa is a queen. And I will say, yes, we are queens here. We are not princesses. And it is like, a different identity washes over them and they become this like attitude and they will hold the crown. And the crowns that you get on Amazon, they don't have a headband. Generally, they will come with um, a hairpin. It's not gonna happen. Throw the hairpins away, keep them whatever, but you're not gonna be able to put this crown on securely with a hairpin. So even three-year-olds can hold the crown. And it makes for a beautiful shot, as you can see, like them holding the crown is really cool, holding it with both hands. Fan has to be blowing. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on the fan. It can be a fan from Walmart, okay? Um, hair is blowing, they love it. And then the next level is, okay, now do you think that you can balance the crown? Okay, I couldn't tell you how many crowns have fallen on this floor and I've never had one mess up. So those $12 crowns are pretty sturdy apparently, so don't worry about that. But they will, you know, when they balance it, it's like they are the queen, okay? They have balanced this crown. They have, you know, figured this out and it makes them feel confident and I love it. And I'm just like, snap, 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 snap. Sometimes I'll have them hold the crown. They can look at the crown. You can get a beautiful eyelash shot with the crown. Um, look down with the crown. Some of the girls, you know, are good enough to where they can actually twirl holding the crown. Some can, some can't. You just have to see. You can have them sit if they have a couture gown on. They can sit with the gown around them with the crown. I mean, there's so many different poses you can do with it. It's crazy. They love it. They have fun with it. Best 12 bucks you'll ever spend. Okay. So far, we have done side to side, sassy shoulder, headshot, crown. Now we are on profile. Okay, I love this shot. This is one of my favorite shots. Moms love this shot. Grandma loves this shot. Everybody loves the shot. So you can do this. Just tell them to look, turn towards the light, whatever your light source is, window, softbox, PLM, who cares? Have them look at the light. If the other pretty one is if when you have the look over the shoulder shot, if it's like a big a gown with a pretty back, have it when you have them look over the shoulder, also have them look this way. So one trick with the profile shot is if they are looking this way, you want to come up and you want to take their hair and put it on this side and then grab like a little tendril and put it over here. But the reason you want to do this is so that their hair on this side frames their profile and it brings your eye right to their face. Um, this, is, this shot is beautiful. So like I said, you can have them facing away from the camera, looking over your shoulder. It creates that beautiful profile like here. You can have them hold a bouquet of flowers, look down or a single flower or whatever. You can have them bring their dress up if you want some kind of action going on down here and not just the shot, but even just them looking towards the light source is seriously beautiful. It's one of my favorite shots. Like I said, mom loves it, grandma loves it, everyone loves it. <laughs> bonus! We're gonna do a bonus! Let's do a bonus! Okay, we're gonna talk about props. We're gonna talk about chairs and couches really quick because every time I see someone post a photo of a child in a chair, it's usually the exact same way. Chairs facing straight at the camera, they're just sitting, and you guys, you're gonna have to start thinking of chairs, couches as 
almost like a prepositional phrase. What can we do with the couch? We can sit on the couch, next to the couch, behind the couch, turn the couch around. We can sit, have them sit with their knees into the couch, leaning on the couch, laying on the couch, uh, crisscross applesauce on the couch, uh, leaning back on the couch. I mean, my gosh, there's like 57. This is a whole video on its own, okay? But I want you to think about a prop as how many different ways you can use it, not what a chair or a couch is not an excuse to be lazy in your posing. Let's say that. So some people just use a, a couch or a chair because they can't think of a pose for the kid to do. So they're like, hey, let's throw this chair or couch out here and just have them sit on it. No, don't think of it that way. So as you can see, we can turn the chair. They can sit from the side, look over their shoulder. You can turn the chair around. They can sit on the back of the chair. On the couch, they can sit up on the arm of the couch. You can have them stand in the chair if it's a sturdy chair, okay? Only if it's a sturdy chair and they feel comfortable with it. I have put girls standing in a chair before and they're like, mm, I don't know. I'm like, fine, get down. We don't have to do that. No big deal, okay? Don't act like it's a big deal. Just if they don't feel comfortable with what the pose that you're having them do, it's gonna come through in your pictures and they're not gonna look good, okay? So you can also have them put an arm on the chair, chin. You can have them sit on the side, look this way on the chair. You can have them lay back on the chair. You can have them put, get in the chair with their knees and come like this on the chair. I mean, oh my gosh. There are so many different things that you can do with a chair and a couch, okay? So the next time you photograph a kid, Challenge yourself to see how many different poses you can come up with on a chair or a couch. It's easier than what you think. Okay, everybody, like I've said 57 times, I hope that these poses have helped you get your brain going, get your gears going for ways, new ways that you can pose your clients, fun ways, things that they'll enjoy, things that mom will love, grandma will love. So like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to help you. Okay, okay. So far. I just burped. Hold on. <laughs> so far. What